Tony has this boundless optimism and energy. And this focus on actually getting things done is in it to say what he thinks is right and to stick to his principles. If you think about where Tony Garza's influence has been felt over the last 25 years, you come away understanding that it's had a huge impact on where we are in Texas right now. Well, I was born and raised in South Texas, along the border, spent time between the two cultures and the two communities. I think Tony's Hispanic background is a very positive thing from the standpoint of everybody in South Texas. And the fact that Tony has been elected a county judge, has served as Secretary of State for the state of Texas, has been elected as a railroad commissioner, was appointed ambassador to Mexico, as a subject of great pride on the part of all of us in South Texas because it's one of ours. He became ambassador in Mexico at a very tricky time. There had been a lot of optimism about the relationship in the wake of the election of President Fox in Mexico, President Bush in the U.S., and then 9-11. The 9-11 attacks created challenges in Mexico for President Fox. We needed a steady hand to be able to strike the balance between America's interests, while at the same time continuing to cultivate the common economic interest, the trade interest, the energy interest that defined the binational relationship between the United States and Mexico. Mexico and the United States have worked closely to ensure that our nations are secure from terrorist threats. It was a challenging time, but also a time where there was such an alignment of interests that Mexico worked with us very closely and we with them. You could not have had a better person in that job than somebody who literally grew up on the board. People in Mexico felt comfortable with him. I think to this day they probably still feel comfortable with Tony Garza as our ambassador. He really has, behind the scenes, largely out of sight, influenced so many areas of life in Texas. It's hard to imagine where we would be right now had he not played the roles he played. But over the years since he's been out of public office, I've known him as an accomplished attorney, as an advisor to various companies, and as an advisor to me informally in the building of and the running of the Texas Tribune, to the point that after 10 years, we've now just gone ahead and made it formal and put him on our board of directors. Tony Garza is widely understood around the country, not just in Texas, is one of the best people you could possibly go to if you need advice on understanding the U.S.-Mexico relationship. What Mexico means to Texas in terms of trade, in terms of business, in terms of our demographic, in terms of our history, our culture, our families. Texas is a very special place, and Mexico is a big part of it. So I, I'd say if you ask me why is Mexico so special to you, I'd have to say because I'm a Texan. For his years of public service and an unparalleled ability to bring two countries together, Ambassador Antonio Garza has a place in the McCombs Hall of Fame.